Recently, my wife and I made a, a decision that we were going to purchase a home gym. Um, last year, we bought a house that actually had uh, a separate building, um, and we thought with the idea that eventually we'd be able to purchase a, a home gym somewhere down the road. Um, what led to us purchasing it at this point was basically because my wife, being a stay-at-home mom, uh, was not really having the time that she wanted to get to the gym on a on a daily basis or weekly basis and um, so even just that 10-15 minute drive to and from the gym can really set you back with a one-year-old because you know he sleeps in intermittent um, napping levels so what we did was we started researching and uh, so I was just gonna go over some of the things that we ended up doing so as you can see behind me this is my garage um, this is my 1996 300 ZX that I've had for bought it in 2000 so I've had it for 15 years so that's my car but the cool thing about this house is that it's actually got a separate two-car garage um, the person the person that we purchased this home from was actually uh, in construction so he used this as his construction property and I do not have the door unlocked so to go over here and un undo the garage um, basically we ordered all the equipment from from Rogue. Um, yeah, so we ordered all the equipment from Rogue um, for the most part. Now the flooring was a bit different. We actually uh, we read some blogs online and we did some research and you know we were looking up ways to get equipment uh, for home gyms and we came across this flooring for uh, horse stalls and we found a, a tractor supply company nearby that actually sells the stuff. So we actually managed to get the flooring from there. So we got four by six rubber mats. They're really heavy. They, uh, you know, I had to move them pretty much myself and they were about a hundred pounds a piece. And the thing is they stick. So actually Lauren helped me clean out the garage and you know, my wife helped me clean out the garage and get everything in place, but these mats were a bear to move. Um, so as you can see, here it is behind me. Um, do a little tour. So we've got a prowler, got a bunch of dumbbells, got a rack, got some bumper plates for you know deadlifting off the floor, some nose plates, got a nice Ohio bar, got these, these are some cool clamps. Uh, Lane uses these, I really like these, they really, they really grip tight. Like that, they snap on and then they don't move. Um, so, as you can see, it's it's, um, it's not a, a complete gym by any means. It's not like I'm giving up my gym membership or I'm going to stop going to the gym. But for the time being, this is going to be really convenient. Um, a good way to train at home. You know, we can squat and deadlift, and we can. You know, I got the I got a bench here that does you know does flat, does incline. Um, so it's really going to allow us. The ability to at least get in decent training sessions at home when uh, time is limited or um, the other nice thing is the other day I had a client come over here and do a training session at the house so um, or she actually did a posing session so we're actually Lauren is helping me set up we're gonna set up like a posing area in here so the, that the floor will be right for kind of like stage posing we're gonna set it up so you can practice your walk in from backstage, hit your poses, and walk off for, um, for figure, for bikini, for men's physique, and uh, bodybuilding's a little easier. We don't have right now as any mirrors. Um, that'll be the next step. It's gonna be a, a process over the next you know weeks, months, and whoever knows years, because I have a lot of square footage in here. As you can see on this side of the garage, we have all the stuff left over from moving last year, You know, some furniture, some, um, lots of cardboard boxes and I still have all the garbage from, from that came with all the rogue stuff so the gist of it is we've got a lot of stuff in this garage but I mean it's it's a really full-size two-car garage that goes really deep so it has the capacity to be a fully functional gym uh, it's already got plumbing as well so I plan to at some point get a shower in here um, so like a changing area shower for when clients come over to work um, but that's it man I'm, I'm freaking excited uh, I didn't know how excited I was going to be until this equipment arrived. It's just been um, it's been one of those cool cool things the last couple of days. Couldn't wait to get out here today. My my uh, father-in-law, my wife's 
dad actually helped me get it all put together. Um, so that's it. One more time. Dumbbells up to a, from five up to a hundred. Uh, got the colored bumper plates. Got the deadlift jack. We've got the west side butcher, which is kind of similar to a prowler. Uh, got the, the squat rack. Um, some pull-up bars over there. We got a camber bar in the corner. Three 45-pound plates at 25, 10, 5, 2.5. Um, that's it, man. I'm pretty pretty excited that uh, that I get to call this gym home. Um, excited to see, you know, what it becomes in the future. Uh, hopefully, you know, people that that live close by and you know friends and stuff, we can, you know, make this a nice place to meet up, train, and. Uh, and uh, I can't wait to get some loud music in here and, you know, really break this place in. So until later, guys, uh, that's Home Gym 101. And if you have any questions or comments or ideas for me, I'd love to hear them. You know, I got some, some cool things I want to do. Because it's Florida, um, I really got to keep these doors open to keep it semi-cool in here. We did get a big fan. I don't have it yet. Um, but the... Uh, I want to put like a big screen on the uh, on the garage so I can open the garage doors. I have these windows here uh, that allow a cross breeze to go through. So I figured with the fan, the cross breeze, and the garage doors open, um, it's going to allow me, you know, to keep it relatively cool in here. Um, at some point, we may look at getting like an air conditioner or whatever. But um, yeah, we've got some. I got some cool ideas for sure. But you know, I'm always open to uh, to new ones. So all right, guys. Hope that uh. Here. Hope that you enjoyed uh, my little video on building my home gym. And now I'm going to go lift some weights at the other gym. Um, talk to you soon. See ya.